In this particular lecture, let's learn how we could handle multiple inputs in a React application. So right now in the previous lecture, we have handled this input, which is the input for the name, which is all fine and good. But let's say you want another input field over here, which accepts the last name of the user. So this accepts the first name and in order to create an input which accepts the last name, you might think that we need to create another state here called as last name. And that's actually true. You actually need to create a new state if you want to create a new input. But then the question is, what if the form actually has tens of inputs over here? You obviously cannot go ahead and create 10 states here because then it becomes a lot more harder to manage those states. And therefore, what we do in order to tackle such problem is that in this use state, instead of saving the single name, we could actually save the combination of first name and last name. So instead of having this state to save a single string, now we could make this thing save an entire object. And in that particular object, we could have first name and last name. So rather than directly setting the name as empty, we could now go ahead and we could say that, okay, we don't want to save an empty string here. Instead, we want to create an empty object. And in that object, we want to have properties like the first name and the first name should be empty. And then we want another property as last name and the last name should be empty as well. All right. So after adding this, if you go back here, you will get an error over here and this will say object object. And that's because if you actually take a look at the code here, you're setting the value of this thing to name. Now name is an object and therefore it's displaying object here. So you have to say that, okay, the value should be the name dot first name which is this empty value right here. So if I go back now, as you can see, uh, now this won't give you an error, but if you try to change this, uh, this is going to give you an error. And that's because this set name, what it's doing is that it's actually setting the value of the entire object to e.target.value. But instead we only want to set the value of this thing of first name to e.target.value. So over here, we have to say that, okay, we want to set name to an object instead of this single value. Therefore, we'll create an object here. And then inside this object, I would say the first name is going to be e.target.value. And then I will give a comma and I would say the last name which I want is going to be something else. So let's say for now, let's set it to empty. So now let's see what happens. So this time, if I go ahead and set this value, it works. Now that means this input field is working absolutely fine. Now let's try to go ahead and create an input field for the last name as well. So I would say input type is going to be text. Then over here, I would set the value of this thing to name dot last name. All right. And now let's define the on change on this one. So I would say whenever this thing changes, what I want to do is I want to take the event. So I'll create a function make this thing return a callback function and that callback function is set name. And inside the set name, I would say that I want to set the set name to an object. And in that object, I want the first name to be empty and the last name to be e.target.value. So e.target.value. And that's it. So now if I save this and if I go back here, let's see if this works. So I'll hit refresh. I will type in Rob, but if I go back here and if I try to set the value of this thing to Ford, the value over here disappears. And if I try to set the value of this thing to Rob, this value is getting disappeared. And let's understand why this is happening. And this is actually happening because whenever we are setting the first name, we are doing one thing right, which is setting the first name value to e.target.value. But then we are also emptying out the last name value. And we are doing the same thing over here as well, which is while setting the last name, we are emptying out the first name value over here. So what if you only have first name as this value and nothing else over here? So let's see what happens in that case. So let's experiment with this as well. So let's remove that from here and let's remove this first name as empty from here. So this time what happens is if I try to say Rob, as you can see, we get an error over there. And we are actually getting this error because what's happening here is that we are setting the object to the first name or the last name, but we are not simultaneously setting them. 
So in order to solve this problem, what we do is we use a spread operator. So what we say is that, all right, whenever I want to set the name, I don't want to disturb the value of the last name if it's being set. So what we do is we take the current value of the name variable or the name object and then append this other value over here. So this could be done using a spread operator. So we say dot 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 name, which means take whatever content is in there inside the name state comma and then add first name to it. And same thing needs to be done over here as well. So here we say, take whatever value of name is, so triple dots name, and then comma, I just want to change the last name. So now let's see if that works. So I'll go ahead, I would say Rob, and over here I would say Ford, and as you can see, we no longer have any kind of error over here. That means we are now able to successfully set the value of Rob and Ford, which is the first name and last name. And if you actually want to confirm if those values are being set, what you could do is right before the form, you could actually display the name value here. So let's display the name value here. All right, so it's not displaying that. So it says that you cannot have the objects as React child. So let's display the value of name dot first name. And then after this, let's have a separator and then over here, name dot last name. All right. So if I go back here, hit refresh, let me type in Rob. So as you can see, the value of name got updated here. And if I say Ford, that value is being updated over here as well. That means we are successfully able to capture the first name and last name. So this is how you could go ahead and capture values from multiple input fields in React. So the only thing which we have done here is that we have not created any new state, but instead we have modified the state to accommodate an object. And inside that object, we have saved the values of those particular input fields. So this line of code might look a little bit confusing, but eventually you'll get used to it. What we have simply done here is that we have used the JavaScript spread operator. And what the spread operator does is that it simply copies the existing array into a new array or an existing object into a current object. And we could go ahead and change the other attributes or properties if we want over here like that. And that's exactly what we have done here. So once we have this particular input fields, let's complete this form in the next lecture by adding a submit button. And let's also learn how we could handle form submissions in React. So let's learn how to do that in the next one.